game is on. Curtis Lazar wins the opening draw. Hall, this stick handles the puck, finds it. Daniel Vladar sends it hard. It handcuffed Zaboral, and Sam Reinhardt pots the gift. Yeah, it was almost a direct pass from Ladar right to Sam Reinhardt, and uh, he's going to get back to the front of the net in a hurry. to kill it is the wraparound and uh, just poor communication from a goaltender that's relatively green in a Bruins uniform, trying to have good communication with Zaboral, who's first year in the NHL. And it's a direct pass right to Reinhardt. Colin Miller up but not out. McAvoy past the goal line. Seneshin stirs it in front. Coils shot. Dribbles by the post. Seneshin keeps it alive. A lofted backhand by Bjork. Dahlin to the middle of the line. Middlestat tries a move and Vladar stones him with the left leg. He goes through his skates. Middlestat has a chance, tries to go backhand. Trent Frederick gets sat down on Bryson's check. Pasternak's bullet off the short feed. Bergeron, the fans are making a lot of noise. Pasternak across the slot, no possession for Buffalo. Grizzly scores! Charlie Coyle for the third time in two games, making a massive screen, and the Bruins tie it getting open. Buffalo had a couple opportunities maybe to get possession in this case. But the Bruins do enough to keep possession and keep moving. Grizzlick's at his best when he is moving. That's his best asset is his skating ability. He had his eyes up the entire way. He's looking. I got to get this between the posts, but I got to give Coyle a chance maybe to get a redirect in front. Woody Eakin across the slot. Opozo around the circle. Dalin to Yoki Haru is saved by Vladar and a flying rebound. Kyle Opozo scores his second goal in as many games against Boston. Unity on a breakup with the wraparound. The winger's not there. You got to make a better decision. You got to manage the puck a little bit better. And this is a nice goal by Opozo. He really doesn't have much option except one timer with his backhand and hope it finds the back of the net. And he's successful at doing it. Grizzlick out high. Krejci fakes the shot into the slot. The tip by Bergeron, a scramble for the loose puck. Krejci comes up with it. Back to Grizzlick. Borrell along the line. McAvoy quickly down below the circle. Comes out from behind the goal. Through the slot, the puck gets away. He's still got it. Cross ice and Chuck. Charlie McAvoy puts on a skating exhibition with Nick Ritchie jamming in front, and the Bruins have tied it. Uh, you can take this all the way back to the breakout pass by Steven Camper. An entry into the offensive zone with possession, and then it was all Charlie McAvoy. He has had great legs all afternoon. You know, joking in between the second and third period, you felt like saying, I'm going to play 73 and 48 the entire third period on the back end, at least until we get control of this hockey game. It's a good bounce, but it's a clinic on puck possession, skating ability. Bergeron swipes it out of the zone. Cody Eakin, the quick re-entry. Pasternak on a seam pass. Elmark denies him. On the Pasternak chance. Bruins free up the puck. Quick recognition by Bergeron. Pasternak stretches the neutral zone. He tries to coil, slides it back to McAvoy around the perimeter. Krejci to McAvoy. Pasternak loads up, and Olmar makes his left to right move to block that one out of play. Timer on the elbow. Olmar's going to get across. Bulls might have gotten away with a hand pass there. No, it wasn't. Craig Smith to Ritchie, looking for Krejci in front, loose puck, Smith scores! Craig Smith buries it, and the Bruins come from behind the lead for the first time this afternoon. Put a glove hand on it, but it's just great effort. It starts in the neutral zone. Smith fights through his check. Good pickup of the skates by Ritchie. That's a puck out of midair. Krejci keeps it alive. 
Smith gets to the scoring area. I mean, this is just hard work. You love to get rewarded for your hard work. It means you're playing the right way. You're on the right side of the puck. You're getting inside position. This is where the goals are scored from. And the Buffalo Sabres stand with the Washington Caps of 1975 and the San Jose Sharks of 1993. 17 consecutive losses, the second longest in NHL history.